All right, good morning, man, behind the scenes. Good morning. You ready to go outside and do something? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? Um, you hear the dogs out there crying? It warmed up a degree and a half. Yeah, they wouldn't come in. I tried getting them to come in, they wouldn't come in. But <laughs> yeah, that degree and a half ain't quite enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> the actual temperature went up, but the windshield went down. Yeah. So we are back in the shop this morning. The ultimate goal is to get this project complete. So first on the list, we're going to have to find a way to make this thing holy. Yes. All right, man, behind the scenes, you want to explain what your thought process is this morning? So my thought process is I laid two holes out because we talked about putting one here and one here, but yes. I'm thinking that we really don't need anything besides this top one here because this would only be for a really an up and down pull, not a side to side because right. you're gonna right. put all your stress on your shackle. So here you could do anything you want. Right. Pull wise, you just ain't got as much up and down, but the, we don't ever The do only that. time I can think of we would need an up and down pull is two things come to mind. One is if we take the blade off of it, which I really don't have any intentions of doing that, and I hope we don't get in a scenario where we need to do that. Yeah. It's probably not a good scenario. No, that ain't. Uh, the other option would be chaining it down to the low boy trailer. Uh, but we still got the center thing we go to the majority of the time, and honestly, we just wrap a chain all the way around this thing. Yeah. I think we'd do that before we change that shackle, wouldn't we? Yeah. The other thing I like about making sure that shackle stays up there is it's more likely to stay out of the dirt. Yep. You hit something, it will swing over. Right. Be out of the Either way. way. So, well, if we uh, if we cut or drill that hole up top, we always got the option of coming back and putting the one over there but instead of if we need if to. we need yeah. to. I'll uh, go that. I, I go the route of just putting this top hole in okay. and see what happens. I'm all right with that. I don't see no. I mean, that's the ultimate point of these is to be able to pull. The other thing I like about this is the way our pull point set up here is we never pull the dozer backwards. We're always pulling it forward. So if even if we do come up here and grab it with a bucket and that shackle's on there, it should always be it safe. Should, yeah. It should always be should safe, always so. Be safe, so. All right, uh, what's your drill of choice? Mine is a mag drill. What's your drill I got of choice? A drill, I got a mag drill over. All right, well, let's get her hooked up then. There's one problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the typhoon ain't got a big enough bit, huh? Well, it's got plenty big a bit. Oh, but I got plenty of small bits, <laughs> but I don't have the Just right don't size. Don't have the one we need. Don't uh, have the one we need. I got everything. But, I got everything but what we need. Yeah, I guess yeah. I'm gonna have to do some Amazon shopping and get me some slugger bits. Yeah, that I, go. I go. I got every sixteenth increment from seven sixteenths to an inch and a sixteenth, and then I jump to two inches and I got nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, like, they call this like a liquid wrench, but it's also a liquid mag drill. Yes. Where's so, the magnet? Huh? Where's the magnet? I ain't got it hooked up yet. Oh. Yeah. I uh, guess I guess you're gonna be the magnet. Do you huh? do you like calibrate in there inch and a quarter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? Well, technology these days, you would not believe it. It can read your mind. You ain't if, even. If there's calibrate. one thing I've learned about you over the last <laughs> ten years, technology is not your friend. <laughs> 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 no, no, I, I, that goes with everything. I'm, I'm, I'm still black and white TV, man. Yeah, oh, trust me, we know. <laughs> this, you want to know why Aaron never comments on any of my videos? It's because he's not smart enough to log into YouTube to actually no, comment. You got my password. I don't I have, have your password. <laughs> if I had your password, I'd be commenting for you, telling, letting everybody know how much you think I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. <laughs> I think I do have your password. It's somewhere up there. I don't know. I don't know where it's at. But yeah, I got. I can't get logged on at home. I can't, and I got Wi-Fi now. And yeah, you're running out of excuses. Yeah, so. I am. All right, you want to give me the uh, pin, so as you blow the hole through there, I can do you a fit. Yeah, I and got see it. how. Right here. See how this goes. Now this, this is round. That is right. <laughs> what the hole round. So preferably a round hole would be yeah the ideal idea. scenario. Yeah. So, All right, let's drill some holes. It's not big enough yet. No, not yet. Now, if I run out of settling, do you want to explain what happened? I used it all yesterday working you hard. Used it all. 
I come in and the bottles were left on. I have a feeling we may have had a little small leak. Mm -hmm. But you said, you're, you're saying now, since you left them on, oh, well, it was about out anyways. Well, of course yeah. it was. So hopefully hopefully we got enough to get this. Well, if, if we don't have enough, it's because you didn't work fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is, we only got one other settling bottle and I hope it's full and ain't empty. You gotta have optimism, man, behind the scenes, not pessimism, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I got the proper foot attire on for the shop this morning, so. I think you're good this way. I need just a little bit that way. Does that make sense? Yep. I don't know how tight you want it. I think a bird bit would get that. It's just a slag in there holding it. Looks really good, actually. Yeah. You want to bird bit it out? Uh, yeah. Bird bit that out. All right. You see? Uh, I'm just a hair too short. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can you see through the camera? No. I don't understand that. I can see from the other side, but it won't let me oh, look down from that this side. Way? Yeah, there, yeah. All right. All right. I mean, it looks good around. I like it. All right. You think these guys are crazy? You think there's two guys staring in a hole? <laughs> yeah. All right, on the other side. this way again it needs a little bit but you're you need quite a bit this way again yeah
do the exact same as that other one. I think we're in bird bit territory. Yeah. We're going. We're over halfway through. So we have a bird bit cleaned up. Looks like a machined hole. Yeah, it's getting close. That's perfect. Yeah, rub it, Jack. Later, I think we're fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actually, gonna wilder itself yeah. out, ain't it? Yeah. I say, I say we, I say we leave it. I do too. I mean, I think you could argue that was drilled. Yeah, that's I right. like it. Yeah. All right, Aaron's got that all cleaned up, pretty much ready for paint. Before we paint, I think what we're gonna try to do, we got just a few, few blemishes. We're gonna call that a few blemishes on the back side of the blade where uh the teeth or the bucket or whatever got into it you did it i did it huh we probably got video evidence of who actually did it but <laughs> lucky for you i don't have time to go back and look for it you don't want to look for it because you know it is you <laughs> no i don't think that's the way it is oh yeah it is anyways probably not in the ideal scenario we're gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of bond bondo or body filler fill those in they drive a jerry crazy they drive me crazy too because they're right in the sight lines and the seat of the dozer. So we're going to paint all that up there. We'll take a few few minutes to just uh, clean that up a little bit. That's the worst of it. Over here on the other side, we got one bit right up here on top. We'll probably try to fix the rest of it back here. Still looks pretty good. It has an escape injury, I guess is the best way to put it. So, all right, let's mix up some goodies.
right, here we go. Is this the final coat? Well, for this it is. For this it There's is, no huh? Volvo haul trucks we're gonna make do. You know how people tell me all the time, I'm not a body guy, which I'll agree with that statement. But you know what? Everything we've worked on has looked better after we got done. Yeah. You can't deny that fact, right? No, no, you can't deny that. So, including this. And, of all the Bondo we've installed on this channel, to my knowledge, none of it's come back out. <laughs> Yet. Yet. There is Bondo coming off the 120, but I did not install that Bondo, so. I was on, I wasn't on no part of that either. Actually, believe it or not, that Bondo was installed by a professional body shop in town. Oh, yeah? No so. hmm. Where's that uh, plastic one at? Is it up there? The plastic one? Yep. Oh, I think that's close enough. We can say that now. It'll work. Yep. Huh. It is the back side of the bulldozer blade, for goodness sake. This is out here. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. I even blended in the uh, hump for where it was pulled there. See that? Yeah. Nice. All right. So let that sit for just a second. We're going to uh, give her a little sandy sandy and we're gonna give her a little painty painty. There we go. somebody's C10. That might be a little bit better. <laughs> Bondo, um, what's Bondo? I, you don't use Bondo, you fill it back in with metal. Well, <laughs> depends on what it is. I mean, for a quick, easy yeah. little job. I think that looks pretty good, what do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, it looks real good. All right, let's go buzz that air side off, we'll blow this down, I think we're ready for some Get old fashioned paint. Yeah.
I think we're ready for a little bit of green paint, folks. All right, now we're ready. I mean, it's to the time of the day where I have to make your work look Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Well, can you gold plate it at least? Gold plate. We gotta go green, huh? Go Can't green. be gold. Look at that. Oh, oh my man. god, you look at that bondo work. Like, you can't even tell me. Oh, 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 yeah. I'll tell you what, we have got to do such a good job painting because Kevin's going to lose his job at CNC. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Everybody's probably screaming right now, we should be painting the top of the dozer. <laughs> I see good of a comment generator to do so. Yeah, it is. Man, look at that now, would you? Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, got to say. Uh, looks good. You know what the comment's gonna be? Why didn't you just repaint the whole lake? I like it a lot. 
Let me get this uh, gun cleaned up. We'll let our paint dry a little bit. The last thing we need to do on this is uh, make our cables. Yep. You, what did you do? Oh, oh, I found some runs right here. Yeah, and you were trying to get rid of them. Way to go. Way to go. That's flawless. My rims that I painted have one little run look better than that. I don't see nothing. Oh, no, there's a oh, big run. No, right that's what. There. That, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Way to try to cover it up. I can't see your face in there. Yeah. It's like I got a big old droopy smile when I look at that run. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, man, behind the scenes now, the paint's dry. It looks absolutely fabulous. Yeah. The next thing on the list is we need to make some cable loops. Yeah. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Here's the first question. How big a loop do you think we need? That's another good question. So why don't you stretch that cable out here once? That's probably good enough right there. So let's just make a circle on the floor. Thinking somewhere in there. I think that's gonna be plenty big. Let's go just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Why, cause it'll be easier? <laughs> These are all possibilities. Well, I think step one of this operation is gonna be cutting that right there. Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna have to be cable weavers. <sighs> I'll the camera for you on that one. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, what grinder you want? You want cordless or you want the regular? Uh, just, uh, the regular one will work. But the cordless already got away from a lot of them. Yep. Yeah, we'll just use it. You're glad you're thinking like me now. The only problem is, who put the wafer wheel on the cordless? You? No, sir. I don't think I, I did. They're not all backwards. Look at it. There's two of them on there, ain't there? Oh, shoot. There is two of them on there. And it's not all backwards, which means you put it on. <laughs> hmm. How did I do that? I couldn't have done that. You had help in the shop. And I, wasn't, I here. wasn't here. I was in. Remember we did. Remember yesterday's video? How I was out of town. Yeah. And you were in the shop. But I didn't use this. You can have that one back. Oh, thank you. We'll save that one for later. One. Huh? Yeah, I didn't use this. Sometime. Good thing I was looking out for you there. Yeah. All right. We'll save that for later. We'll probably need it. You probably need this though. Yeah, I need that. I need. A, I think we need to go ahead and take that. No, because as immediately after you uncut it, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah, unbraid it. Unbraid it. All right. So I'll let you do the little... That cable is heavy. Yeah. Safety first. Safety first. Yeah, there you go. Safety second. <laughs> Or safety first, but second safety thing. Can I, can I step on these? How's that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Can you feel it? Feel it, uh. That's got to be one of the toughest things to cut. Yeah. Help him get that cut, then we'll see if we can weed it. Okay, so now we do need to tape those three together right there. Okay. We need to, we need to take, tape these three together, these three together, and then we'll unweave them. And we gotta curl it, split the difference, and weave them back. Duh. Duh, yeah. Make it sound so easy. Well, I know that that's crucial, so let's do that. <laughs> All right. The 
I remember I was telling we go bigger, maybe easier. Yeah. I'm keen to wonder if that was a great one. Yes. All right. Now. I need to find somewhere to put these guys down. Well, man, behind the scenes, our cable weaving did not quite go as planned. No, no, it didn't. I know what I want to do. I know it can be done. Just don't know how to do it. But we called in a local expert. Yeah. He'll be here. His phone a friend. Yeah, yeah. He'll be here <laughs> later. I'm sure you guys on the internet know what we need to do. But unfortunately, the phone a friend's a little bit faster because, well, you know, it's the History Channel. So the good news is. What they didn't see off camera is we uh, modified a DeWalt grease gun to do yeah, twice the pumping power. Yeah. And uh, you we explain blew. how you do that? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I may violate some rules. Yeah. <laughs> but we got this thing greased. Uh, we checked all of our pins back here in the tile plow. Long story short, I think it's time for this thing to exit the shop. Yeah. And uh, hopefully our cable weaver will be here at some point and uh, we'll get our last few little pieces up. Or do you want to put the whole clevis on there just for oh, looks? Yeah, we can do that. For looky sees? Yeah. Over there? Put a on there, huh? Oh, yeah. Fancy, fancy. I believe you didn't get some new shackles for this. Well, I spent we all my... Actually, you have new shackles, but we're not going to use them. I spent all my money on welding wire. <laughs> yeah. And paint to make your welds look good. Look at that. Run free, too. Pin. Oh yes, that's yeah. a thing of beauty right there. We even got matching shackles. Yep. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, well, next challenge. You wanna see if we can get this thing out the door? Yeah, nice tight fit, door ain't big enough. Hi. If it'll fit, it's big enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, on our show, it ain't move that bus, it's move that dozer. <laughs> it's hard to believe there's a half full bus. Yeah. Uh, shoot, what is that? That's probably three, four months old. It's been a while. Well, somebody that money was <laughs>
on that side. that side. Cable, this would be a whole lot easier. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but when a smaller cable won't be the job. <laughs> Like uh, that was that was like two and a half minutes you staying out of his way for most of it. <laughs> Some days I don't like you. Like, all right, we're not letting him escape. We got one more to do, and we're done. That's fine. All right. Do we want to go a little bit smaller with that one? I don't think we need to. Do I don't. No, we can leave that one alone and then just make I mean, the other one whatever. How critical is it going to be for these two to be the same length? They're going to be. You're never going to be able to both of them at the mm -mm. same time. Okay. What's the old? Uh, What's the old saying? Whenever you do this, you're never supposed to saddle a dead horse. Yep, never saddle a dead horse. What if I like riding a dead horse? All right. I'll be on vacation that day then. I'll be on vacation. <laughs> so that needs to go in there yeah. like so. You gonna get some nuts started on the bottom here for me, bud? They probably can't even see what we're doing. No, I can't. You, you gotta give me some threads here. Well. 
there. There, that's better. Okay, question for you. Yeah. Let's see if you know the answer. How do you saddle if you would took this cable and made a circle? Which one's the dead end? Half of them go one way, half of them go the other way. Okay, okay, you do know, okay. Well, if you only got three, which huh? way? We'll say you only got three crosses. Then you look at your look at yourself hard in the mirror and say, "Am I left-handed or right-handed?" Because <laughs> <laughs> whichever way it's easier to put them on, that way's going to get to. All right, all right. So, you got that tightened yet? <laughs> No, no, I have not got that tightened yet. All right, we need to make uh, sure we get it down far enough too, because we got to make sure. Another one on. You yeah. have to get another one right here. So this is where you're gonna have to squeeze really hard. I'm gonna get it slid up as far as I can. Yeah. And then we need to go. All right, let's set the folks over here, and they can watch us struggle. Okay. There's a whole lot going on in a short little bit of cable right there. Yeah, yeah, there is. We'll see how this works. We may have to come up with plan B, but this is a good start. Yeah. The best part is it was all out of random stuff we have in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> or on a scrap pile. <laughs> on a scrap pile. <laughs> all right, so we got the basically these clamps. The only thing they really do is hold those tails down. And Aaron's uh, tape in there between them just to cover up any loose edge or any sharp edges, sharp edges. keep a wire or something from getting poked. I am uh, short two clamps to do the other side. I got them ordered, but uh, you wanna take this one up and hang it off the blade and I see what it looks so. like? Kinda like a Christmas tree. How is this like a Christmas tree? Decorating the dozer, decorating the Christmas tree. Yeah, what? I mean, why didn't I think of that? All right. Well, I said uh, we had no money in this thing, but you just wasted a whole roll of, a whole roll of 3M tape. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but I got them. I, I just want to make sure I got everything good. Yeah, I think. Ow! There's a piece of loose wire laying up there. All right, let's take this dozer and see what it looks like. Man, would you look at that paint job now, would you? Yeah. Oh, that's gonna hang. That's gonna hang perfect. Yeah. Here's one thing I want to look at. What, what's it look like? Don't scratch the paint. Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Goodness gracious. I was looking, throwing this over. I want to scratch the paint up. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Like right. Scratching paint up, but you don't see anything that's gonna hurt if it. No, if we like have to push dirt, just let a hanger right there. No, the other thing I like about it is it's long enough it don't drag the ground, short enough, or short enough it don't drag the ground, but it's long enough if we're hooked to it with the bucket, we can reposition the track hoe to get a different yeah. angle. We'll get one just like that on the other side, and then we still got our rope system to go underneath, yeah, where. If we got to pull for an extensive period of time, that's the best way to go. Yeah. Like I said, we have, we were talking the other day. We're, we don't pull this thing near as much as I thought we were going to have to. Yeah, yeah. It does a really good job on its own, so. All right, guys. As you can tell, there's still snow on the ground. It has warmed up slightly, but there's another cold, cold, uh, what am I trying to say? Cold front on the way? Right. Yep, coming in. So, long story yeah, short, you I, said what? I'll have the proper fit of time. 
Today's supposed to be the warmest day all week. Yeah. Yeah, and then it comes back cold. So, yeah. Hey, it's a good thing we got a mystery project in the shop. Yes, so. exactly. All right. We may have to slow walk that one for about a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> that project may take us a week and a half. All right. That's going to be a wrap on this one. We got a little sidetracked on some shop organization, but uh, nevertheless, it's progress. Yes. No matter true. what. So we're going to go down, regroup, and uh, yeah, mystery projects next. Stay tuned. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Big, big old thumbs up. Catch us on the next one. Consider subscribing if you haven't. Tell them bye. Hey, by the seeds rules.